is Notion free? In this video, I want to walk you through uh, what we've written here, our best explanation at answering this question and then some other questions. Why is Notion free? What plan is for me? Is it is it even worth upgrading to the paid plan? Uh, this is more if you prefer an audio, a video explanation rather than reading. Uh, I won't be reading word by word. This won't be a read through, but I'll do my best to cover what's here, plus maybe some more, maybe just, just for you if you're watching the video. I will assume you already know what Notion is. If not, we will have made at one point very soon another video on what Notion is. So I'll be skipping over this part. But the short answer is that yes, Notion is free. It's got a free plan and you can make the most out of it by sticking to the free plan. Uh, it's got a very generous freemium. Um, you might want to upgrade to a paid plan if you hit any limitation. But here's the good news. It costs you nothing uh, besides the time, obviously, to test out Notion. So you will have enough of a leeway to find out when you'll be hitting that specific uh, roadblock. Um, what's more, we mentioned here that because my company, Simple.Inc, I'm a co-founder, uh, has got a website builder function, you also won't need to upgrade to a paid plan of Notion. You can stick to free with Notion and with us. We've got a generous free plan as well because uh, we've uh, we've learned from them. So let's see, jumping over this, don't need to explain what Notion is, at least not in this video. Um, we're posting a, one screenshot here, which is one of the many of... Uh, with the answer, why do people love Notion so much? And uh, you might already know this yourself. It's the simplicity, it's the ease of use, it's the fact that it's uh, maybe not the fastest in terms of how swift the app moves, at least for the moment. Hopefully they will fix this at one point in the future. But it is fast in the sense of how you get work done or how you make progress or how you organize your life, your business, your classroom, I guess, if you're a teacher, how you organize uh, stuff. So, is Notion free? Notion's free plan. The thing is, they used to have a limit of a thousand blocks. One block meaning a paragraph, a picture, um, I don't know, an embed, a gallery, whatever. But that's that's gone. Out of uh, as of May 2020, I'm not sure whether it was May, but it was definitely as of mid 2020, a bit after the pandemic has started. I remember. Dave announced it and it had a very good reception. People were happy to know that Notion is now limitless. Um, it was limitless before, but you had this limit of a thousand blocks. And my guess is they had to do that because uh, they needed some time until they would figure out the so-called unit economics, meaning how much, how well can they afford making an unlimited plan? So they took their time and good news. If you're watching this as of today, uh, Notion is free and I believe it will continue to, to to have this generous freemium plan but we'll get to that in a second. So no more limit of a thousand blocks, it's free and uh, you get, let's see, I've made a bullet point list of what you get, unlimited pages, unlimited blocks. You can upload files up to five megabytes which is pretty good um, unless you want to use Notion as a Google Drive, Dropbox, OneDrive, whatever, unless you don't want to replace that with Notion, you're fine. Five megabytes is plenty for pictures, for maybe even for some audio files. Video, maybe not, unless the video is short, but you won't be able to use it as storage. But as we'll see in a second, on the pay plan, you get unlimited gigabytes, so uh, that's pretty nice. But anyways, back to this. Collaboration is a very important one because this is where people get confused a bit and for good reason, I was confused myself. So on the free plan, you can, you are able to collaborate, meaning I can send, let's say David, my co-founder, who is also my brother. I can send Dave, and I do this actually, I can send Dave a link to a Notion page with a editing right and he will always get a pop-up saying what changes you make here will be applied to blah, blah. He always has to click continue, which is fine. You can invite guests to your workspace, up to five guests. Guests can see stuff in your workspace. But what happens is they, they're able to see everything you have right there. But that's about it. It gets pretty fuzzy. It's not super clear whether 
they can edit easily. But the thing is, a guest can see what what file, what files, what pages are in there. Editing is not straightforward, although it could be hacked. Not hacked in the sense of you're doing anything illegal, but then they can give you that editing rights link. But that's a manual effort, so it gets a bit fuzzy. So you can share as many links with editing rights as you want. They can edit. It's a bit a slightly cumbersome. You can add somebody as a guest, which means they can see all the files. But here's where the limitation is. In a team plan, in a premium paid plan, you all have access to the files in that workspace. Now, what's a workspace? A workspace is, think of it as a folder. Or in the same way, you might make different, uh, let's say, YouTube accounts, and you have different playlists in there. You will have your personal one for sure. And in a team workspace, it's the same way if you would be making a YouTube account that you share with your family for some playlists. Um, what you do there will be seen by others. So that's the same uh, thinking for a workspace. You're probably going to have a uh, personal one, but also one for this team, one for this company, one for this client maybe. So that's where the differentiation happens. In team, everybody gets editing rights, sharing rights, viewing rights, everything to everything in the workspace. Access to all features, nothing is restricted. Mm almost 100%, This I should say here 99% access to features. There are some slight features that won't be accessible uh, if you're not on a, on a paid plan, but nothing that will compromise your experience. And the uh, bulk export functions, that's something they mentioned as well. Let's see. Once again, I'm mentioning the Notion website builder. Is Notion free for personal use? So I've already covered this, but what I can say is that if you're a student, if you work in education, I think even for a teacher, because that's why they say education and not students, uh, you can get a personal pro plan for free, which is this one right here. So you're saving five bucks a month or four dollars a month if you pay if you were paid annually, which is great. Um, highly encourage you to do that if you're a student. It's better to get it now uh, rather than later. Is Notion free forever? This is a good discussion. So it's it's pretty common these days for tech companies to have a, um, a generous freemium plan. It's not the first time we're seeing this. The thing is, once they make a move, such as what they've done in May 2020, it's pretty hard, almost impossible, but nothing is impossible. It's pretty hard for them to revert, to say tomorrow, by the way, guys, it's not free anymore. So why they will have um, reverting such a decision would, would bring some backlash. People will get angry. People would move, whatever. It, 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 doesn't, it doesn't help them in any way. Plus the fact that it's been a year and a half as of almost a year and a half as of today when I'm recording this, this video. Um, it's been almost a year and a half and they, they, everything seems to be fine. Nothing, nothing is on fire. Probably they're going to keep the freemium plan forever. Nobody can know for certain. I don't know if they'll be acquired or whatever, but for the time being, for as long as they're owned by the founders, I'm pretty sure that uh, my best bet would be that, yes, it is going to be free forever. And um, I suppose people would be asking this if they're they're wondering, am I making a, um, a mistake by going with Notion? Because um, what if tomorrow they decide, like I have all my files there, what if tomorrow I decide, no, uh, I can't keep my files there anymore. But Anyway, what will happen, however, is with time, so once again, looking at other tech companies in this kind of situation, with time, they need to find a, a better way to monetize, or maybe they're do already doing well, but they're funded by venture capital. And companies that are funded need to turn a profit or to turn more and more profit sooner or later. So what I estimate as well, my prediction, my guess is that, as time goes by, they will keep adding features on paid plans that will not affect uh, the limits of what you can do with the free plan. So I don't think they're going to remove stuff from the free plan. I think they're going to keep adding stuff on the paid plans. And if they're smart, and they honestly, uh, <laughs> no doubt about it, they are pretty smart. There's, there's a ton of smart people in the company. What they might do is only make paid features when they're helping you make money. 
not not directly maybe not necessarily with payments although that's something that can happen i don't know notion page capturing payments uh only available on a paid plan maybe even there with some freemium that's direct or maybe indirectly maybe they're helping you with some um commercial value that's when they would charge but for the time being the answer is is notion free for personal use yes big yes is notion free forever yes oh okay uh Second question, is Notion free for Windows? I've seen people asking this question and they don't seem to discriminate against the operating system. So, uh, yep, it is free for Windows as well. Uh, quick word from our sponsor, which is us. Why is Notion free? Um, I've already started covering this in the previous part. But um, once again, it's what most tech companies do these days. It's also an industry where no taking apps as they started initially, I think they're way more than a note-taking app, and I think it's trivial to call them that, but whatever. Um, note-taking apps or apps that look like Notion or feel like Notion are free. Google comes to mind with their suite of tools, and that's just one of them. There are way many others. So they almost had to do it free. But I think, as I've estimated earlier, they're taking care more of of acquiring users right now and worrying less about monetizing, taking care of that later. Um, somebody has to pay for this expensive growth because running servers and running a business is not free or cheap probably at their size. They, who pays for this expensive growth? I've mentioned here funding from investors. Notion has raised hundreds of millions by the time I'm recording this and I wouldn't be surprised if they, as years go by, they would raise billions. But also, they fund this with money from paying customers. Um, they might not actually go on to raise billions and only stick to hundreds of millions, but it all depends on, we, we don't know exactly how much money they're making, what revenue they're getting, what profit, what blah, blah, blah. They've mentioned at one point in the past that they're doing well in terms of profit. That can always change when you, when you raise way more money, because now you have all this money in the bank, so why not run at a loss? because you have all these grand plans and they look like they have grand plans. Once again, I'm reiterating my estimation here that as time goes by, they will keep adding uh, more stuff on the paid plans, hopefully helping you make money, especially with this with the, with the this wave that's forming the, the creator economy. And many creators love Notion for good reason. It's pretty much made for them, not just for them, but for them as well. The conclusion, expect Notion to offer the same service with more efforts to monetize some features that are not yet available at a later point. What plan is for me? Should I upgrade to a Notion to a paid Notion plan? Is a paid Notion plan worth it? We've researched hundreds of paying customers of Notion, that is, of course, and we've asked them what, what made you want to switch from free to paying those four or eight or five bucks a month. Um, pretty much, we've got the following buckets they needed to upload files bigger than five megabytes. This is ditching probably Dropbox or Google Drive or whatever for this. Um, somebody saying, I just started to use it with organizing all my files and ditch Dropbox. I don't have many files, but they take up a lot of space. See, which, which is by the way, great because maybe Notion's um, file organizing. So every page is a could be a file, but it could also be a folder, but it could also be just a page. Every file looks uh, the same way a page does, and maybe the editing experience, the organizing experience is not as great as Dropbox or as Google Drive or something. But for this use case, I don't have many files, but they take up a lot of space. Fantastic, works works great. Frankly, I'm okay with the way I'm organizing files in Notion. Uh, I'm on one of their paid plans, so I have this unlimited. I, don't, I haven't replaced Google Drive, but it works great. Um, another reason is people need a version history of their files. So let's say uh, in December you have, let's start with a, with a month that's earlier. In January you have this v, V1.0 of a file and then in March you make a V2.0 and then in, in June you make a V3 and then 3.1, 3.2, whatever. If you're on a paid plan, you will have a version history. So you can go in that dot, 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 uh, that ellipsis, drop down button and see, okay, how did my page look like at this moment? What about this moment? I want this restored, please ignore what I have now, just restore this. It's good, it's basically one file means many more files because you keep all that history. Once again, this is something that's only on a paid plan. 
which makes sense because maybe there is some commercial value in doing that, in saving all that. I was living with free notion till I couldn't stand the limited size of file uploads and history, history of recently altered pages. Another reason is they need to collaborate with a group over all the files in a workspace, a family, group of clients, teammates, etc. All right, cool. So we covered this. Uh, they simply want to support Notion for what, what they've done. Yes, really, just a way of saying thank you. We've even added two quotes. I just pay. I didn't even reach the limits. It's just that the app was worth the money. And another quote is, I'm not even near the limit, but I freaking love Notion. So I want to support the devs, the developers, that is. Pretty nice, I would say. Um, put your money where your mouth is, I guess, or support a mission or a cause you believe in. I think that's a valid reason to do it, especially since when... It's not that big of a cost. It's not like 29 a month or whatever somebody else might charge. Uh, those are the main um, the main reasons we found that kept repeating. Obviously, there are some edge reasons, but uh, try putting these here so you can get an idea. Maybe you see and you say, oh, that's me. Maybe I should do it as well. Um, this one, you know, maybe will, will re-instantiate your trust in humanity or your uh, willingness to be good. Pretty nice reason. I was really happy to see that. I've had it last, however, because it's the one with the least um, direct utility, so to speak. But once again, a nice add-on. Can I build websites with Notion? I don't spend too much on this, but yes, this is what we do. And then can I add a custom domain to a free Notion account? Yes, you can. I've mainly added this because people have these questions when they use ours. Our Notion website builder, they say, oh, but I don't want to pay for you and for Notion. And we're saying, no, you can stick to a free plan with Notion. You don't even have to pay us. We have a premium plan. We charge as a premium feature if you want to add a custom domain. So if you have you.com or your name.com or apples.com, which I suppose is already taken, um, or apples.so or .io or whatever, that's a custom domain. So when you go to that custom domain, your Notion website is there. You won't have to be on one of our subdomains. You can do that with a free plan. And um, I'll end this here. I'll invite you to have a look at the f other free Notion resources we've made. Notion icons, these are free copy paste, you know, for the for the small icon, you can add an emoji, you can add a custom icon. Uh, we got simple Notion forms, you create forms, you embed them in Notion. We got a Notion freelancer pack. This is pretty much super helpful, saving you hundreds of hours or at least 50 hours. If you're a freelancer, many, many um, freelancing templates in there or document templates. Simple job board. If you're either looking or you are a Notion expert, you can be paid for the tasks you can do. And of course, our set of Notion templates, free no templates for Notion, just jumpstart your uh, page creation from one of our templates. Uh, we'll have more, but I'll end this here. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments what you think. And um, I hope, I truly hope, Notion will keep being as good as they've been with their offering because if they are, we'll keep sticking. So um, have a great day wherever you are.